What's going on here? Oh, for God's sake! Well, <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Well, um, the episode's not even started yet. We're already seeing people beating each other up. What's going on here? It's Dennis Rogue attacking dazzling Dale Melandra. Oh, for God's sake! What did Dale say? Oh, the storm, you know, storm system worldwide's a load of shit or something. What's going on? Oh my God! Oh, okay, okay. That uh, it's, I, I think I shouldn't expect any better from GHK, but we've not even started the episode yet. Dale's getting the piss beaten out of him. Oh dear, fucking lord. Bloody hell, well we're off to a, we're off on a, we're, we're sprinting out of the track right now. Well, it comes back to GHK. Holy shit. We're barely started already. We've seen Del Malandra get absolutely pounded. Don't take that the wrong way. Del's got a lovely wife. Anyway, we're gonna go straight into things here. Champions challenge time. The GHK one is obviously superior because unlike the VGRW one, this is falls count anywhere. You know, we got the fact that the referee has to sprint everywhere to, in order to count any of the pins or submissions, but it should end up being all the more exciting that these wrestlers can fight anywhere and everywhere. Donovan has it right now, battering Byron Jackson. Oh no, hold on. Oh, this is definitely a message to the world champ. Oh my god, arse in the face. Oh, it's awful! Donovan is going to be, you know, fighting for the world title at Hall of Glory. He won the GHK Rampage match, and Byron is currently our world champ. So, if you think that's not a deliberate message being sent by Donovan, you are full of it. You are the stupidest. You know, you just wear the dunce cap and move on, because that was deliberate there. Oh, look at that! Oh! El Hio definitely taking after his father. Cubit Constantine with that full Nelson slam. Bugger me. You got former world champ Black Death in this match as well. Him and Scarecrow are part of the VGIW GHK Trios champions. We're not as lucky to get the Reaper this time around. Oh my god, Byron Jackson. With the Pele kick, Black Death there, lovely suplex. And I'm going for a pin. One. Two, and there's the kick out. Oh, and a boot to the face. And again. Look at this, Kirk Cassidy right now, working over Black Death, and now go for Donovan. This is a great chance for Kirk to continue to push himself here. Oh, nice stuff there with that arm drag. Kurt's easily got to be the heaviest person in this match, so doing an arm drag to him is not going to be easy. Oh. Well, got swatted away by El Hio. Kurt's now got a deal. Kurt's part of the Z Division. He's the Z Division champion. And he just had to deal with the two heaviest motherfuckers in this match. Ridiculous. Well, now look at this. El Hio flexing on Kurt Cassidy. Meanwhile, Black Death and Scarecrow going at it right now, battering each other. Then you got Donovan going for Byron. And again, definitely deliberate on the part of Donovan here to go for the world champ. Snake Eyes on the side of the ring. Probably the best place to do Snake Eyes if you ask me. Oh, and fucking just throwing Byron about. Kirk Cassidy being taken against the ropes here. And then those, those forearms to the back. Kirk Cassidy has got to be in a fucking state after that. El Hio. Elbow drop on oh, a DDT on the outside, planting Donovan. Donovan's going to have an egg on his face if he gets eliminated. Meanwhile, Kurt. Oh, Kurt barely hanging in there. 
nearly eliminated right out of the gate. Oh, there you see, Kurt, come on now. Don't get humiliated by fucking El Hio, for God's sake. Meanwhile, Byron just had his fucking bell run. Oh, wait a minute, Kurt! Oh! It was smart, but unfortunately, you know, it didn't matter here. Oh, I feel bad for Kurt. He's got such promise. He's probably going to end up getting jobbed out to fucking El Hio, of all people. Where's the fucking justice? Oh, nice work there by Byron Jackson going for the pin now. And here we see the referee. Oh, and a kick out from Donovan Hazard. Good work there. All right, here we go. Oh, that's it. Good work there. Face first into the turnbuckle. DT there. Rolling Black Death back into the ring. Scarecrow and Black Death back in the ring. Doesn't really matter, though. Falls count anywhere, of course. Oh, fucking hell. Byron Jackson going to Old Faithful. He's gone back with the Irish Curse Trifecta. Work the back over for that submission finisher. And now, oh, look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Is Donovan going to go out first here? Here we go. Is, is Donovan about to tap? You can see the torque there. Byron trying to send a message here. Oh, didn't work. Didn't work. Donovan was able to escape. And Scarecrow, he's gone for the referee. What the fuck? No, no, you got to... Oh, my God. Black Death had to stop Scarecrow. No, what the fuck? No, they were in cahoots. Darkness Rain just tried to kill our referee. We've already lost one. We've had to go back to the shitty old referee who can't seem to forget that rope breaks aren't a thing here. Why the fuck did you do that? Oh, wait a minute. Donovan, he's just gone and pinned the world champ. Here we go. Is this it? Oh, my God. A kick out. The referee shaking the cobwebs out. Honestly, I thought we were about to fucking lose our referee. No, not on the outside. Not the gamma spike. No. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Two. Oh my god, he kicked out of a gamma spike on the outside. Ref's got to hurry, Scarecrow's getting the pin. Oh, he's taking his time, that's deliberate. One, two. Oh, thank god, Kurt didn't get Booker T'd there. No. Oh my god, a power bomb on the outside. Oh, that's fucking nasty right there. Good lord, another power bomb on the outside. Oh, wait a minute, Scarecrow just hit his finisher. But the referee already got to count one, fit, one pin. Who? Three! Donovan's just beat the world champ! Is this a sign of what we can expect at Hall of Glory? Holy shit! Oh my god, that's fucking incredible. Black Death against the rope, but Donovan there trying to stop it. Look at that, Donovan wants Black Death now. I think Donovan's specifically going for the world champs here in this match first. He's beaten Byron. He wants to beat Black Death. Oh, Kurt, you got involved. That's a bad move. Oh, God. El Hio now grabbing Scarecrow. Oh, nice work there. And boom, with, the, with that big old atomic drop there. And right now, Black Death dissecting his opponents, as always. Just what we expect from old Black Death. God. Two. Black Death's gone! Black Death's gone! You've got to be kidding me! Oh my god. And Scarecrow may not be too far behind. Oh my god! El Hio! He's a scary person, isn't he? He is built like a brick shit house. Good lord. Oh my god. Go for a pin now. One, two. No, you have got to be kidding me. Okay, so we're obviously down to four now. We got Donovan Hazard, El Hio de Hubert Constantine, Donovan Biohazard. We've got uh, Kurt Cassidy and Scarecrow. Oh, oh, God! 
One, two, three. Kurt's gone. Is El Hito about to follow? Ref, ref, get in fucking position. Well, fuck me. Donovan now going over to Scarecrow. And he's about to use that straw man as a punching bag. To get some of that frustration out from that shitty pin. Oh, look at this. A punch to the face of El Hio. And that just seemed to be a bit more about respect than anything. Look at this. Donovan right now trying to control both wrestlers in the match. Over the ropes, though. Listen, you, if, you, if you're looking out from respect for El Hio, he needs the two brain cells to rub together to be able to know what respect is. No way. Oh, my God. The shoulder power bomb. Is this the end for Donovan in this match? One, two. Oh, no, there's the kick out. Good fucking Lord. Oh, wait a minute, Scarecrow. Oh, against the side of the ring there. Good work there by Scarecrow. And now Donovan grabbing a hold. Boom, against the ring post there. And now back into the ring. Donovan watching, waiting. Oh no, here we go. Power bomb! Oh! And, oh, look at this. Nice beat down by Donovan. Elbow drop there. You got two big, beefy, barrel chested men here. Fucking hell, they are absolutely bludgeoning each other. They're... Oh, wait a minute, Scarecrow. Going in, and an elbow drop. Elbow dropping like he weighs 800 pounds. Oh no, here we go. Not again, on oh, the fucking outside. The it, if you want to know why the Gamma Spike's so dangerous, it's a driver, it's, you know, think about like the tombstone and what that would be like on the outside, or a pile driver on the outside. That's what Donovan just did to Scarecrow. No wonder that led to a free count. The Gamma Spike, such a brutal move. And now, Donovan and El Hio up, ready to go to war. And I think with the way these two are hitting each other, this is not going to last nearly as long as that fucking... Five-star Dave Meltzer that El Hio and Leo had. I think this is going to be a lot shorter. It's just going to be a case of who's going to buckle first. Is it going to be, you know, Hall of Glory main eventer and potential future world champion Donovan Hazard? Or is it going to be the son of GHK legend, Hubert, the son of Hubert Constantine? Oh, El Hio could be in trouble here. Look at this. Powerbomb. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Dumping to the outside. Going for the pin now. Here we go. And the referee. I know, I, know, I can't blame him for that one. He had to run to get into position, but that gave El Hio enough time to recover. Back in the ring. Here we go now. And look at this. Grabbing a hold of El Hio. Oh, driving down. One, two. No, you are kidding me. Wait a minute. Oh, nice work. That, that, well, actually, no, that's just disrespectful. I don't know why I'm saying nice work. Yeah, he's winning, but like, I might not think much of El Hio. He, I may think he's stupid, but you don't do that. Oh, you do that to him instead. One, two. Oh my god, He's, he got busted open. Okay, you could see there, even El Hio reeling from that one. He got absolutely cut up from that boot. No, don't do it again. Oh, for God's sake, Donovan. Absolutely brutal. No, a gamma spike again. Oh my god, El Hio manages to escape. Nice work there by El Hio managing to escape and shifting the weight there. Okay, there is a chance here that El Hio can turn this on round. Oh my god. Look at this. Lifting him up. Throwing him into the barricade. And again. He's throwing Donovan around. 
Oh my god. You wouldn't think Donovan is one of the you know, is a larger man, but because the way El Hio is throwing him around. Donovan trying to shake the cobwebs out. And El Hio up in the air. Power bomb! God dear. He's like a gorilla. Only we have gorilla. So I don't know what to make of this. Oh, he's like a chimp. Oh, good work there by El Hio. And now lifting up. Oh, God, he heard me say gorilla. Oh, gorilla press slam. Is that really going to do it? Rushing over now. One, two. There's the kick out. You have got to be kidding me. Here we go. El Hio, Irish whip into the ring. Oh, wait a minute. There's no way. El Hio flying. Oh, my God. Fucking God. I should have expected as much. But now, no way. He's going to do it. Power bomb. One, two, three. El Hio wins. I can't fucking believe it. There you have it, El Hio managing to win. I think he won the VJW one as well. Is this? Okay, obviously we've been doing this for like over five years now, right? Is this the first time someone has won both the VJW and GHK Champions Challenge and on the same week? I think it might very well be. This fucker's done it. This fucker has potentially just made history. You've got to be shitty. This is... Oh, good luck. Get that chainsaw off of him. For God's sake, he's apparently dangerous enough with his bare hands. Well, we're moving on now. We've got a match between Twister and the Lumberjack. We've got a Marvel superhero versus the... <laughs> horrors of... I don't know. I couldn't think of any bloody horror thing to pull from but Jesus Christ so Twister you know flips and flies and all that you know one of the one of the most like light high flyers I've ever seen someone who honestly makes gravity look insignificant Twister has continued to you know like he doesn't win a whole lot but bloody hell does he look entertaining while he flies around and he's up against some, you know, one of the more dangerous wrestlers I've ever seen. Like, the first person I think who's ever beaten the Jailer one-on-one, -on -one, you know, lumber in the Lumberjack, Twister's going to have to, you know, Twister's going to need a bloody miracle in this one. you got to believe Twister ready to go here. And uh, up on the middle rope. Okay. I am curious to see what Twister's going to try and do here to put away the Lumberjack. Honestly, keep your eyes peeled here on Twister, because Twister could do some stupid, death-defying stuff in this match. Alright, oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. The Lumberjack. Someone who... Back in the day... Harvey Columbus had such promise in Terrific Texas Wrestling. Then a tragic accident happened. Keith Storm thought he had killed him. And now the Lumberjack is here. And Caligar, look at that. It's practically orgasmic looking at the Lumberjack. He is so thrilled with himself. But he's unleashed some hellish concoction into the GHK like ring. Oh my! Okay, now we're literally getting hellfire. Okay, Jailer, we thought was bad, and Jailer is pretty bad. But now we've got two people on that kind of level of just we we've got too many fucked up towns, quite frankly. Jailer, 
Chosen One, Isaac, Caliger, Lumberjack, uh, Kaiser. Jesus Christ! Oh, look at that. Twister already! Phoenix! Springboard Phoenix! Splash like it was nothing! Okay, come on, Twister. Come on, Twister. Give us a bit of colour. Give us a bit of life here. We can't have a, we can't have the we can't have the dark stinky talents running rampant. I mean, literal corpse here, so it probably is a bit stinky, lumberjack. There's a two. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Come on. Imagine how big that would have been a twister in one. Just to try to get in the f head of ja of the lumberjack, but I don't think he realizes there's nothing. The lumberjack's not gonna be antagonized that easily. Oh. God, those, that was a hell of a punch. Leg screw there. Lumberjack, you know, gonna try and slow down Twister with that leg screw. And now, look at that dissecting Twister with those stomps on the arm. You know that's for the crossface chicken wing. His finishing move. He is absolutely, he's trying to get that elbow to pop out of place. Oh, the beat down right now. Up and down with the flapjack. Punching away. Oh, now look at this. Shoulder claw. Oh, now Twister. Look at this. In trouble right now. Again, this isn't going to get Twister to tap out. Twister's not going to give up that easily. But, oh no, you've got to be kidding me. Choking him out. But the shoulder claw is obviously going to help towards that crossface chicken wing finisher. He is completely decided. He's now. Oh my fucking god! He's now dictating the pace of this match. And we're seeing that brutality. You know, him and the Jailer, in my opinion, have been two of like, the more scary wrestlers. There's a lot of dark talents here. But right now, at least. Like, those two are probably my two most feared. Like, at the very top of the totem pole. Because if you're in a match with either one of them, Jayla, he's big. He's going to tear you apart. He's going to pound you into mincemeat. Then you've got the Lumberjack. Oh, crucifix. And you've got the Lumberjack, who is just this undead, awful person who will rip you apart slowly but surely like a zombie feasting on your flesh. Ref, what are you doing? This is GHK. I'm sorry. Was the ref counting this whole time? I think the GHK ref has been too shaken by our opening match when he got shoved to his near death. Nearly ended up as a lumberjack himself. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. No way, Twister. Oh, okay, not quite what I was thinking, but he did do a lovely elbow drop there. All right, twisting the arm. Oh, that. No, don't pin him off of that. That's not going to do enough. Yeah, C two count. There we go. Oh, my God! Launched himself over the referee there. He cl completely cleared the ref there. Oh, going for a dragon sleeper. That was smooth as silk. Look at that. Look at... Is he going to make the Lumberjack tap? No. Snap there, there. Managing to escape. Oh, but the Lumberjack whiffs that clothesline. And that gives Twister an opening. Or oh, does it? Oh, look at this now. Going to go and drop Twister on the top rope there. But there you see clipping. And now, up on the top row. 6.30 cent on Twister. Wait a minute. Twister, he's not done. Another springboard Phoenix. You've got to be kidding me. One, two, three. You are fucking with me. How is he still going? No way. Oh, the Lumberjack's back up. Caught there. C4. That was brilliant. Twister absolutely catching the Lumberjack here. He's got the Lumberjack's number. I'm on the top row. And now look at this. 
waiting for the moment to strike. Hurricane Rana. Again, we're seeing what Twist is capable of. He can fly like it's nothing. This is what I've said before, he's like a superhero. So while I compare him to Marvel, he can do stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so close. But he can make it look so damn easy. Is he looking? He is. Six, 30, no! Caught on the knees. Oh, you are kidding me. That was so close. I think he was about to put it away. Oh no, what is the Lumberjack doing? Oh my god, no. No! Oh my god. You set down to the deepest layers of hell. Twister's somehow kicking out. But you can tell that took every ounce of strength he had left. And now the Lumberjack going to suck the soul from Twister. Oh, here we go. Crossface chicken wing. Crossface chicken wing. Oh, look at this. Twister struggling. And there's the tab. There's the tab. There's the tab. Lumberjack, let's go finally. And oh my god. I've got to tell you though, that was a close one. Closer than I expected heading into it, quite frankly. I was thinking, you know, Twister's going to get his ass handed to him. He's going to get fucking destroyed. And then he comes back and he's suddenly doing so much to stay at pace with the Lumberjack. But in the end, look at this. Oh, God. For a moment, I think he was about ready to leave this mortal realm Twister after that DDT. But look at this. Look how close this was. One. Two. And there you see that kick out barely managing it. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Hold on a moment. Sorry, I was so close. We're busy watching the replays. I didn't even realize myself that these two. What the fuck is going on? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I was so busy focused on my little monitor and my, my replays. I didn't realize what was going on in the ring. What's going on? Rebellion and the Crusher. Crusher's definitely not supposed to be here. He's not even a GHK wrestler. And he's not got any of the titles to allow him access. He's not hardcore champ. He's not trios champ. There's no reason he should be here. What the fuck is happening? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on? The Lumberjack. Oh, that leg screw. And now rushing over to, to the Crusher now. Oh, slapping the taste out of Lumberjack's mouth there. Oh, planting the Lumberjack. Oh, my God. I can't believe what I'm witnessing. Brain buster. But the Lumberjack's back up. And now... Oh, the Crusher there with that headbutt. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. You've got to be kidding me. There you see the Lumberjack there. Oh, God. Trying now to fight back against these two. There we go, snapping the arm. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Look at this. What a slam. What a slam right there. Another Lumberjack. Oh, God. This isn't a match, by the way. I want to make it clear. This is not a match. This is not a match. This is just a beatdown. The Lumberjack already just had his match. One against Twister. And right now... Oh, my fucking word. The ref... Like, there's not much he could do, really, except call the bell. Call for security. Because there's nothing the ref can do. He is scrawny compared to any of these men. Imagine him trying to stop the Crusher and Rebellion. He'd get caught in the firing line too. All he can do is stand and just hope that security gets down here. Oh, God, dear. Clearly trying to finish what Keith started, it feels like. Oh, fucking hell. This is ridiculous. You have got to be kidding me. No, not again. Not again. Oh, my God. Lumberjack's back up again and just shoved aside. 
What is this killer combo we're getting from the Crusher and Rebellion here? Oh my god! N I've heard on Grapevine that they're a father-son combo, but why are it the Lumberjack? You know, I can almost understand why these two are working together, but why the fuck against the Lumberjack? I don't know of any history that the Lumberjack has with the Crusher. Oh my god! This is ridiculous! Look at that, the referee again calling for security! Oh my god! What the fuck happened there? Well, as you can see, oh, that was awful. And now look at this, reveling in what they've done. Again, this was not a match. This was just a beatdown. Security's on their way. Um, right now we got some people checking on the Lumberjack. Not sure what vital signs they're supposed to check for, but there we are. All right, now it's time to move on to our main event as Gene Baxter, Caleb Adler, and Curtis Burton battle it out. You know, funnily enough, Dazzling Dale Melandra was supposed to be in this main event. Obviously couldn't make it. Caleb Adler, who works for Canadian Destroyer Promotions, has made some appearances here on GHK, and, well, he offered to replace Dale Melandra because Dale obviously cannot make it here tonight. So that's why we've got this sudden last second change in the booking. So let's see how Caleb can handle going against these two big meatheads, Gene Baxter and Curtis Burton. All right, here we go now. All right, coming down to the ring first now. God, I'm still shook by what just happened, honestly. Sorry. Um, here comes Caleb Adler. Like I said, came in last minute just to, you know, to, to help out, really. You know, we do have, you know, despite the way that we always go, you know, all tribalism and whatnot, we do typically have wrestlers backstage from the other shows, you know, they're usually there to see their mates and whatnot, or even see family in, in some cases. You know, David Hagen's been wrestling over here as our GHK Bloodshed Champion. Daniel Hagen, for instance, has been backstage all the time, really, to check on his old man and whatnot. Caleb from Canadian Strong Promotions has been backstage the past few shows. You know, like, it, it, you know, it's just what, we, what happens a lot of time backstage. You know, they may not be able to wrestle in the ring, typically, but, you know, there's a lot of intermingling. I think we're okay to have Caleb on here because it's, you know, there's no way that Caleb, he, there's no way he could become a hardcore champion or anything like that. But he's not a VGIW or GHK wrestler. So I think because he's Canadian Straw Promotions, we've got a little bit more leeway in having him on the show. Saying that we've broken that rule so many times at this point. But the point is, Caleb, thank, thankfully he's replaced uh, Dale Melandra in the main event tonight. That's a shocker because Dale's been doing pretty well in my opinion. He's had a bit of a little bit of a... He's been having some pretty quality matches even if he hasn't really been winning a whole ton. But why? That's another one. Why Dennis Rogue? What the fuck happened there? Again, like... Maybe Dale said something and Dennis decided to take umbrage with it. I have no idea. The Lumberjack one though, that's really confusing. We're having fights breaking out. I guess it's GHK. We're having fights breaking out all over. Speaking of someone who does revel in that kind of environment, though, there's the bruiser biker, Gene Baxter. You know, I think about the days, you know, the, the things that Gene Baxter has done in his time on the channel. You know, he, he was the, I think he was the second ever uh, VGRW United Kingdom champion when he beat BBC. I think we saw the hardcore sides of him even back then. I remember he grabbed, this was a ladder match, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. He, the ladder was laying across the ring floor. He grabbed VVC's head. Ladder underneath VVC. Bash, bash, bash. That disco dancing party animal was about ready to be put down by Gene Baxter. Gene is someone who will do whatever it takes. He is not above absolutely just bringing you an inch from death in order to get what he wants. 
Now we wait for the next person in this one. Here we go. All right, here comes Curtis Burton. Okay, this one's gonna be exciting. So we got two big old gigantic meaty men here. Gene Baxter and Curtis Burton. Curtis, of course, who has been near the top on a few occasions at this point recently. So he's been doing pretty damn well for himself, all things considered. Curtis, of course, ready to, you know, his size, his strength have absolutely been overwhelming. Curtis, always a spectacle in these types of matches. Sending wrestlers into retreat like his hairline's in retreat. Okay, that... <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Curtis Burn, of course, ready to go to war once again. He's been having troubles, though, with our, you know, with the owner of GHK, Theodore Cornwall, who has been holding Curtis back, stopping Curtis from, get, you know, getting to reach that full potential, I feel. But... I will say, if there's two wrestlers that show a lot of potential as well, there's, of course, the bruiser biker, Gene Baxter, who I think could go far as well here in GHK. And Caleb Adler, who's been the top wrestler in Canadian Straw Promotions. Yeah, he's a lot smaller, but, you know, this isn't fucking... What do you think this is? A company run by Vince McMahon? We we like small smaller wrestlers here. And Caleb Adler's shown in Canadian Straw Promotions that he's got what it takes. He's been Canadian's men's champion, if, like, once or twice. You know, he could absolutely elevate to that world title level. But you better believe that Gene Baxter and Curtis Burton are going to give Caleb, you know, that GHK welcome package. Oh, good work there by Gene Baxter. Oh, Caleb. Springboard clothesline. Caleb's speed is definitely going to be his biggest asset here. Oh, God. Because in a power display, he is absolutely outsized by these two. It's like two kaijus battling right now. And now, oh, wait a minute, there we go, DDT, good work there. No, he's not trying to think he's gonna, yeah, there's no way you're beating Gene that quickly. All right, oh, good work right there. And now, racing to the top here. Oh my, what the fuck was that? I don't even think that was a way a normal person can fly. And now look at this, up against the top. Oh, he couldn't quite make it. And that's gonna be, you know, he is gonna be punished for that. Oh, boot to the side of the head there. Absolutely ringing his bell. Gonna go for a brain buster. Oh my God. Now, look at this. Oh, big head by there, Curtis Burton. Standing his ground though. And now, lifting up Gene Baxter. Oh no, no, we've seen this a few times already. Oh! The original, you awful dickheads, good God. Gene Baxter's just been absolutely laid out. Caleb Adler, oh, watching on here. Might be a smart move to just sit back and let these two wear each other out. Oh, now he's coming in. He's waiting for that moment, though. Oh, he's thinking of an opportunity. Look at this. He's looking for a weapon. That's a sledgehammer. Oh, no. Here we go. He's got that sledgehammer already. Oh, a few strikes already to Curtis. Oh, my God. Curtis getting ping-ponged around. Oh, nice work with that backbreaker. And now Curtis throwing Gina aside. Oh, and back in the ring goes Curtis. Caleb now going to Gene, but Gene, look at this. Gonna go for Snake Eyes, I have to imagine. Yep, side of the ring though, so it's a little more brutal. No, wait a minute, Curtis Burton about to show he can high fly as well. Look at this. Oh, you can see Caleb there trying to do evasive maneuvers, and it did work in the end. That was off by a mile. Still, Curtis didn't go too crazy in double axe handle. His legs will be feeling it, but at least the rest of his body will be fine. I've seen some high flyers absolutely... Oh! Oh, shit! That was a DDT onto the fucking sledgehammer head. 
Holy fuck, is Caleb okay? Oh my god! That was genuinely actually really fucking hard to watch. They've just absolutely brutalised each other. Caleb actually somehow finding his way back to his feet before even Gene did. Though Gene ain't too far behind. Oh, look at this. Okay, give Caleb this. He's fine through. Oh, must be a fucking ripping headache after that DDT into the sledgehammer. Oh! Gene Baxter. Look at that. A bit of trash talk to Caleb Adler. And now... Oh! Kickstart to the midsection of Curtis Burton. And he's not done. Caleb might finish it off though. Oh, shooting star press from the middle rope. And there's the break up there from Gene Baxter. Irish whip against the ropes. Oh my god, he did the flip off of that guy on him. Oh, Caleb Adler, he's doing immaculately right now. And there we see dropping on the arm. You know, this isn't a bad replacement for old Dazzling Dale Melandra. Oh, look at this. Boom! Has he just put away Gene? Has he done it? Going up to the top row, but in comes Curtis. Oh, landed perfectly. But there's the base. Oh, wait a minute there. Ah, broken up, broken up. And DDT. And now the baseball bat. Oh, oh, between the legs. He's rocking to Curtis's cock. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Oh. That is mental. Caleb Adler. Just... Oh, that was... <laughs> I can't believe what I'm witnessing. Oh! That kendo stick definitely had some sharper edges. Just cut up Gene Baxter's forehead. And now up on the top row, Caleb Adler. Look at this. Oh my god, again, I don't know how he does it. That does not look like the way a person should be able to move through the air. Oh, you are kidding me. That wasn't it? That wasn't the end? Oh my god. Taking out the leg there. Good work there by Curtis Burton. Bringing Caleb to his feet here. Ground the arms. Up in the air. Driven down. Good work there. And now going for the pin. Oh, broken up immediately. And now Curtis going for a choke slam. Here we go. Driven down. Going for the pin. But Kayla breaks it up this time. Here we go now. Look at this. Against the ropes. Springboard clothesline again. Again, that speed is really helping Caleb out here. Honestly, I wasn't sure about this being a main event at the, at the beginning. Like, obviously, we got some pretty good wrestlers here. But I was thinking, oh, there's no big stakes here. Why not the champions? Ch he did the flip off a fat guy again, didn't he? Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this. Boom! Brilliant stuff. Oh, what a kendo stick shot. You know, but this isn't like the champions challenge where the stakes would be higher. It would be a bigger money match. These three have put on a clinic. One. Two. Oh my god, Caleb kicked that up. One. Good stuff there. Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Curtis with a baseball bat though. Oh, look at this. Oh, flip. Oh, inside out. No, he couldn't break it up. Oh my god, Gene maintained the pin. Curtis dropped on him. Gene ignored it. Was able to get the free count. Oh my god. That's what you get when you fight the bruiser biker, I suppose. Caleb, of course, did amazingly in that match, all things considered. Did a lot of flashy spots with a lot, yeah, but flashy with a purpose. Curtis, of course, came close on a few occasions, but Gene Baxter winning the day. And he's got to be looking, feeling real good. He's just beat two of the higher people in GHK. That's going to raise his status. 
Thank you for watching, by the way. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, yeah, we hope to see you all next time.